Hey guys, the guy with the camera 23 back with a video. This is a bit of a special video. Uh, it's a very, it's a cold but nonetheless nice uh, Thursday afternoon. Uh, I've got nothing to do, so I thought I'd do this room tour. That's not, not the only reason I, I wanted to do this for a while, but um, I just haven't got around to it. I'm going to do it now. Um, now this room is actually my bedroom, but it's where I uh, watch kind of well about 90. 8% of my Blu-rays and probably about 60-70% of my DVDs. First up we have my, get backwards, my poster wall. Now I've wanted to get more, um, well I've got a couple more posters but I haven't actually got the space to put them up. But there is a room upstairs that I might uh, put them in. So it's posters, there's uh, Animal Kingdom there, Paranorman, Martha and Mary Marlene, and Inglorious Bastards. I've also got Lovely Bones and uh, Neds, which I have to say I haven't got space for yet. Uh, next wall, there's the door which you go through. And there's my Hobbit poster, which you've probably seen in the back of most of my videos, or well, quite a few of my videos at least. And here is the movie ticket wall. Now, since I think it's about 2003, I believe, or maybe six. I've been collecting my um, my cinema tickets. Uh, they have three cinemas near me. There's uh, City Screen, which is the best one, which is the Picture House. There's uh, View, which is kind of the more mul which is the multiplex. And there's uh, what used to be the Odeon is now Real Cinemas, which is about not even five minutes uh, away from me. I don't go there a lot because. Um, it's not a particularly good cinema, but um, I go there sometimes when they don't show films at uh, other places. So, yeah, and there's also work kind of uh, lenticular covers, um, uh, a couple of train tickets as well, um, kind of lobby cards and stuff. It's like uh, some kind of sometimes art cards from uh, DVDs I've got. So, uh, yeah, my movie ticket room. Quite a lot. <laughs> All those. Now, I say it's from spending back from I think 2003, I do believe. I've got them in order of cinema, not in order of date. So it could be any. And some of them are uh, quite faded, so. If they're like really faded, I can not take them off and throw them away. Yeah. And then here's my TV setup. The TV, obviously, my uh, Xbox Connect there. And there's my uh, Xbox 360 down there. My. Panasonic Blu-ray player down there. It is model, I can never remember. It's B oh yeah, DMP hyphen BD75. Okay, you can't really see it there, but that's what it is. Now, I've had no well, I've had hardly any trouble with this Blu-ray player. I've had it for well since I've been collecting Blu-ray, it's about a year and a half, something like that. There's a was actually my brother's PS2, but um, he hasn't used it for a while, so I've been using it. There's just uh, basically I uh, is what I uh, keep what I'm watching now. So I'd kind of just put the disc back, so otherwise you get discs floating around. There's a random Xbox 360 controller there, and it is where took the deodorant out of the way. <laughs> and this is where I keep my games. Uh, there's a 360 there. I've got quite a few. Uh, quite a lot of these were from the when game uh, closed down when they got like. That was a lost game somewhere, I can't remember where it is, that I got for 99p, <laughs> which is probably not even worth that. But yeah, there's 360 games. I uh, do love playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Uh, there's more of them, there's my Kinect games, which you can tell by the purple cover, or the box even. I don't play Kinect that much, I don't really use it that much, i will probably live without it, but I'll still keep it. So yeah, there's continuing 360 games. And then there's my uh, uh, three, no, not three DS, uh, just DS three, uh, no DS XL, the uh, which came with uh, Pokemon Black, the first one, I think it was. Yeah, I think the first one uh, with uh, two of the legendary Pokemon on the front there and the word Pokemon. That's it. PS One games. Oh, PS One was my um, actually first was my first games console. I remember coming back from. Uh, from a from a camp when I was about and a seven or eight or something and uh, I remember asking my mum uh, 
She said, do we buy anything? And she said, no, only a Sony PlayStation. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, over the moon. So, yeah, it's a good memory for me. Yeah, PS1 games, mostly kind of, you know, a classic uh, Spyro, Crash, uh, Muppet Monster Adventure, which is one of the best games ever made. And there's the Alan Wake uh, Special Edition. I won't take it out because it's pointless. And then we have uh, 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 DS games. That game is one of the best games ever made. And uh, the Pokemon, Ace Attorney, Broken Sword. And then we have uh, Wii games. Not very much. But I, I, don't, I could probably get rid of my Wii, to be quite honest. So I was thinking the other day of possibly uh, selling my old one, getting one of those mini ones. But I'm not quite sure yet. Sorry, my dog just yelping. Um, yeah, so there's Wii games. And here is my uh, 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 Batman Arkham City um, ex um, special edition uh, 360 version. Uh, great game. Here's my uh, Rush Clockwork Angels uh, classic rock fan pack. I'm a big fan of Rush, so I've put that on display. It's just a random mirror. <laughs> and there's the door to get out to the back garden, which is absolutely knackered. Now over here we have my DVD box sets. Now this is not where they're going to stay, but I need to get a new um, a new bookcase to put them all in, but I just haven't got round to it yet because I buy Blu-rays and don't have enough money to buy one. And here, base, uh, they're my uh, two disc DVDs. Basically what I'm wanting to do is to get to buy a load of uh, uh, two disc DVD cases and put these in and put all my TV shows and two disc DVDs together uh, which again I just haven't got around to buying yet so it's a bit dark around here uh, there's my uh, rock band drums and guitar there so they did have a Les Paul but it broke so there's a kick pedal for the drums there like I say, these are my uh, up here the um, the insert, well, the inserts, but the you know the covers for my two disc DVDs. There's the, the ones on the top are, um, yeah, the two disc ones, and the ones on the bottom are just one disc ones. And then, let's say just DVD box sets again. It's my dog's bed. Uh, up here I have my film diaries. I'll just pop them down here and show you. Basically from, like I said, 2011. I don't know why I got this idea, but I did. Of, um, kind of, well, I've got the dates where I've seen the films here. There's a few there. I didn't go to see that many films then. And just trying to find, yeah. I've got basically random on Black Swan here, which I uh, write down the film and uh, what time I saw it at and which cinema I saw it at. And then I give my uh, thoughts on the film right there. And then I give my uh, rating. I've done that since I said 2011. So it's a good little, uh, I guess, kind of hobby I have. I guess you call it a hobby, I'm not quite sure. There you have, there's just a blank wall there. It's my uh, wardrobe. Uh, here are um, since last, no, not last Boxing Day, but the Boxing Day before that. I started collecting my stickers as well. Now these aren't all of them because sometimes, sometimes I uh, I uh, peel them off and then um, the kind of the stickiness comes off, so I just kind of chuck them away. And as you can tell, some of these are kind of uh, kind of coming off as well. Now uh, these are used. I kind of well, I don't. I'll have one one of each if I get like a. Uh, like a three for yeah, like five for thirty for twenty. I just keep I keep one of them, obviously. There's some uh, some competitions from Rustler Burgers. Um, that's it. Random. I I tried to keep all of them, but sometimes it's just not possible. So uh, it's just again just a collecting thing I do, and I got a couple of random stickers that wouldn't have fit on there. I also uh, keep ones from uh, CDs as well. Now here we have my Skylanders collection. There's the two posters, random in between this movie poster up there. And this is basically the uh, the fireplace that's been taken out. And I didn't have any any other space to put these, so I put them up here. 
Uh, I haven't got like too many, but I've got a couple of exclusive ones. That's um, Argos exclusive, which I'm not sure if you can still get. And there's the Tesco exclusive Granite Crusher. I say not too many of them, but I've kind of put the. I actually got the idea for this from a video I saw where someone had kind of like displayed all their uh, skylines with the, the the trading card underneath, which kind of nicked from there. Uh, so that's all of them. Here's my bed again, and then this is just kind of all around here. Is uh, in this drawer is kind of bits and bobs. In this drawer is actually underwear, so I don't know why I showed you that. And that's just like a like a, a drawer of shite. I think I call it from now on. Now in here I've actually got uh, I actually collect uh, these uh, brochures from my uh, local picture house. I've collected these for a couple of years now. I think it's the third year I've started doing it. So that's just a random one. They kind of changed them now, so they're more kind of made from recycled paper and stuff. And that's all in there. There's also a, uh, a magazine they give you for it's kind of called Picture House Recommends when they kind of give you big films that um, that are coming out in the future. So that's in there of note really. So uh, yeah, I think that's basically it now. Oh yeah, uh, over here I have all my uh, wrestling DVDs or wrestling Blu-rays are in the front room with my other Blu-rays. And here I have, I have basically do this kind of update it every year. I've got all my uh, the DVDs I own in a kind of order of you know kind of grouping together in different different ones. I've got a, a tag classics uh, box sets slash compilations uh, pay per views. Uh, they're basically different kind of series and what have you. And in here I have. I have my uh, ECW uh, uh, DVRs, basically this guy on a, a kind of a trading website, um, it was 30p a disc and he had like loads and loads of uh, ECW pay-per-views. Now I don't think this is illegal, but it's not particularly, I, I, I don't know anyway. Um, I have got a few uh, uh, Delta ECWs over here, a random one house party 96. Uh, they're kind of quite hard to get hold of sometimes, but sometimes you get a good deal on them. And what else? Uh, oh yeah, and over here I have... If you bear with me a second... Oh god, ow, 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 ow. Let me just... It's where I keep my... My single DVDs, basically. I don't have the space to keep the case, keep the cases for all of these, so I just... Stick them in this big binder. Now I did have... Um, Another binder with kind of like the ones that wouldn't fit in here, but um, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, but I got rid of all my uh, well, not got rid of, but put together all my uh, two disc ones which are over there from earlier. Um, oh, it that. That's these ones full actually, I've just realized. So obviously the ones I'll get from now on, I have to get the other binder out and put them in there. Oh, it's quite heavy. <laughs> I'll keep that on there, I think. Yes, I think that's basically it. I think I've covered everything of note. There was a couple of uh, Rush posters there. Rush are my favourite band of all time. And they are the best band of all time. Um, yeah, that's one. The one's kind of fallen down, just haven't really... <laughs> Christ, I'm lazy. I haven't really got around to putting that back up yet. I honestly think that is about it for my room tour. So I hope I haven't been waffling on for too long. I hope you're actually kind of interested in what my room looks like. I say I've watched you like like 98% of my Blu-rays in here and about I'd say I'd say 75% of my DVDs because I have to watch in the front room. So I won't show my book bar, I'll show my uh, Blu-rays I've shown those in my collection updates. So uh yeah, I think that's about it. Please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.